<laughs> Hello, welcome to the Workplace Wellness Series. This is week three, and this week we're talking about stress and burnout. Going into 2021, this is one of my top health concerns, is our stress level and are we already working ourselves into a burnout? We have been at this point nine months going through covid we are stressed out, our jobs are demanding, our families are demanding, and it's, it's a lot. So let's talk about three simple tips to help us manage our stress and create a healthier lifestyle because that's really what we, we want at this point. It's the whole point of these workplace wellness um, series is that we can create healthier lifestyles within the manufacturing workforce. So tip number one is actually what we discussed on week number one, and that is sleep. Sleep allows our bodies to rest and repair. It also allows us to better handle and manage stress. So often I hear I'll sleep when I'm dead. The problem with that is we know from scientific studies that the less we sleep, it actually directly correlates to our longevity. So we really want to make sure we're sleeping. And actually studies now are showing that lack of sleep actually is what they're finding a link with Alzheimer's. So, so many of us have had parents that have suffered from Alzheimer's or we have a family history of it. And we're really careful on how we can handle this. I know my mom is very much into her brain health and brain games. And, you know, she always told me she doesn't put any phone numbers into her cell phone simply because it's a way for her to work her memory after watching her mom go through Alzheimer's. So for her, it's prevalent. It makes sense. And if we know there is a link between these two, let's address the sleep. So really we want to get closer to eight hours a day. You know, when we talked about it in week one, we talked about the book, Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. And I highly recommend either you read that book or you go to YouTube and look up the Joe Rogan podcast with Matthew Walker and watch that. It's really important that we are getting the proper amount of sleep to allow our bodies to manage themselves. Tip number two is actually what we talked back last week on the Workplace Wellness Series, and that is really our diet. You know, if our body's not getting uh, the proper sleep to be able to manage and rest and restore, and then we don't have the proper dietary needs, maybe we're not eating enough or choosing the wrong foods, this all helps promote a stressful environment for our own body. So then we have external stressors like our job demands or our family demands. It only makes it worse. So we can naturally reduce our stress by sleeping more and by eating a proper diet. But tip number three, this one is just as important as sleep and diet, and that is having fun. When we smile, when we laugh, we naturally build our resilience. It allows us to release those happy chemicals in our brain that help improve our mood. It's so important. So whether you're listening to a funny podcast or you're watching a funny Netflix series, it's so important that we are focusing on fun and laughter and find an outlet that'll allow you to kind of unplug for a moment. For a lot of my clients, that has been hunting. It has been fishing, kayaking, hiking. Anything that you find that's relaxive, fun, restorative, that's what we want to focus on. So make sure that you're taking time for yourself. And this will help build resilience. So as stress comes, we will be better able to manage it. If you're sleeping good and eating a fairly balanced diet, and finding that outlet of having fun and unplugging for a moment, you will be more adept to handling the stress that life is thrown at you. So those are my three simple tips to help moderate stress and avoid that burnout. I hope you guys have a great holiday season, and I'll talk to you in the new year. Happy holidays.